Good morning, Rochester LC, and welcome to another episode of C103 News. I'm Autumn. And I'm Maria. Now that December is here and winter has finally made its appearance, some of you may be wondering how to fill your time. If you've lived in Minnesota your whole life, you're used to the cold and snow, and you might even like it. But if you aren't used to Minnesota winters, they can be pretty long and harsh unless you find fun things to do. Our news team found lots of fun ideas to keep you busy during the winter. Don't you ever get bored during the winter? Well, we have some great fun ideas for you guys. Some of the free things to do for activities are you can go to Oxford Park for plenty of activities all year round. There's a Christmas tree that's going to come on the 7th. You can go to Judd Hill and Schmidt Park for sledding. And there's Winterfest downtown. So we have some low price activities for the winter for you guys. We have tubing at Ironwood Springs for $12 per person per session. We have Bacon Fest, which is going to be February 4th, 5.30 to 8 p.m. Unless you're going to do VIP, that'll be at 5 p.m. We're going to be at the Canadian Honker events at the Kahala Apache. Adults will be $25, children will be $10, and VIP starts at $75. We have cross-country rentals, $5 for snowshoes, $3 for snowshoes between the hours of 10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at Oxbow Park. And we do have cross-country skiing and snowshoe rentals at Quarry Hill. On the more expensive side, you can go to Ironwood Springs Christian Ranch to do a horse-drawn sleigh ride. For 50 minutes, it's $120. Or you can go to Welch Village, and all day it's $54. Um, in the afternoon, it's $46, and at night, it's $39. I hope you guys participate in some of these activities. Even if you don't love the snow, you might just learn to tolerate it if you find ways to make the best of it. Even if you love the snow, you might not love driving in it. Driving in the snow isn't my favorite, especially since there are so many people who are terrible drivers when the, win when the weather gets bad. Now it's a good time to remind everybody about some tips to keep you all safe on the roads. We know it's tough driving in the winter, so here are some tips to keep you safe on the road this year. I might go in here with Basil. What do you know about safe driving? What well, I know about safe driving is wearing seat belts and not going over the speed limits. How do you prepare for safe driving in the winter? Uh, it's kind of dangerous in the winter, so you're going to have to drive slow and that stuff. How do you practice safe driving? How do you practice safe driving? Uh, before like starting a car, like you're gonna have to check your car, like the brakes and that stuff, if it's working, if it's good to go, or. Hi, I'm Kayla, and I'm here with Zach. Hi. <laughs> um, how do you practice safe driving in the winter? Uh, you gotta, you gotta probably go under the speed limit and watch out for ice. And you gotta leave enough distance between you and the car in front of you so that you don't hit them if they hit their brakes. And uh, you need to always like make sure your car is in good shape so that you can, you know, you got good, good brakes so that you don't crash into anything. <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Zach. <laughs> yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Kayla, and I'm here with Eric. Hi. Hi, Eric. So, what do you do to prepare yourself for winter driving? I put sandbags in the back of my truck so it doesn't slide around corners. Do you use your phone while you drive? I do not. Not to even like, change your music? No. Nope. No? That's good. Do you obey the speed limits and put distance between you and other cars? Yes, I do. And why would you do that? So when they break, if they need to, you don't slide into them. Awesome answers, Eric. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hello. <laughs> um, so how do you prepare to safe drive? Uh, I usually put on some newer tires with some better grip. And do you use your phone while driving? Of course not. Okay, thank you. To prevent an accident in winter months, make sure to increase distance while driving, have antifreeze, and have a good brake. In bad weather, you'd much rather be driving slowly and wishing you were going faster than driving fast, wishing you were going slower. Slow down, keep your phones away, and pay extra attention to the roads. With winter just beginning, it seems like spring is a long, long ways away, but it will be here before you know it. 
That's right, and with springtime comes the yearbook deadline. Check out these words from our yearbook staff. Hey, did you buy a yearbook this year? Nah. Mm, me neither. Pick up an order form from Miss Bethke and get your book ordered soon. Being in the middle of the holiday season, now's a really good time to stop and think about what we're thankful for and to look for ways to give back. Here at the ALC, we will all have a chance to give back to our community next Thursday, December 10th. Here's our team to tell you about our first all-school community service day. Hi, today we're going to interview some staff about community service day and then they're going to give us some information. Thank you. Hey guys, we're here with Ms. Rojas and we're going to be talking about community service. Well, what is community service day about? Well, December 10th, um, next Thursday, we're going to have a school-wide community service day here at the ELC. And our main goal is to get everyone involved in one way or another, um, performing service for their community, whether it's here at the ALC, in our neighborhood, or somewhere out in Rochester. Okay. We just want to get kids involved and to empower them to do something for someone else. So do we have to like sign up for anything or is it just um, Each advisor has had an opportunity to talk about it in their advisory about what they want to do. Um, we have a little bit of everything going on. We have some people going caroling out in the community. We have some people that are going to be staying back here and working on various projects for uh, certain community members or for community agencies. We also have um, some students who will be baking in their advisory and then distributing those goods throughout the neighborhood. All right, thank you. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys know what Community Service Day is all about, and have a nice day. Check with your advisory teacher to see what they have planned for you and your group on this day. That does it for this week's episode of C103 News. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode. Have a great week.